Many of us have difficult hair days. But for some, it's not just how they've slept on their hair the night before or the use of some dodgy conditioner. It's part of their very DNA. That's certainly the case with this young lady, five-year-old Holly Wright from North Allerton in Yorkshire. Mum Emma has tried everything to tame her daughter's mane, but no amount of cutting, straightening, combing or conditioning seems to bring it under control. It's a problem that's existed since Holly was born. So Emma, tell me a bit about Holly and her hair. Um, when she was born, she mm. had this mass of jet black hair. As she got a little bit older, it just sort of dropped out as baby's hair does. Mm. And then it started to grow back kind of fuzzy, I guess, in a way, um, like duck fluff. Mm -hmm. I tried baby shampoo, we tried adult shampoo, and still we had the same same finished product. Was it just growing out? Was it just like big, bushy hair at this point? Yeah, and it doesn't grow very mm -hmm. fast. Okay. Um, she very rarely needs a haircut, mm -hmm. so it just sort of grew out on end, mm -hmm. like a little scarecrow, really. Mm -hmm. Not that it bothers Holly much. And what does it say on your T-shirt there? I notice it says something. The cat don't care. Nice. For years, and after quite a bit of internet research, Emma has suspected that Holly might have something called uncombable hair syndrome, which affects how the strands of hair grow out of the scalp. But she's never had an official diagnosis, so let's put that right. We're meeting specialist hair doctor, trichologist Ian Salas to take a closer look. So let's have a look at Holly's scalp first. You can see just there, if I can just reach over. Yeah. See, there's like a twisting of the yeah, hair around there, yeah. yeah. So you can see that that twisting is from the scalp, so it's actually growing differently. So we'll have a look at some of these strands. See, they have that spangly appearance. Because essentially they're straight, but they do have that kind of like... Crinkled yeah. appearance, yeah. It's like a buckling of the hair shaft. So it is a 90% diagnosis okay, that Holly has. Yeah uncomfortable hair syndrome. It's amazing just to see it um, up there on the screen and just to have confirmation really that that's actually what she's, what she has got. Well, that's a relief. So let's find out more about this very unusual condition. So Ian, what is uncomfortable hair syndrome? Uncomfortable hair syndrome is a, um, is a genetic recessive trait which causes some of the proteins in the hair to not link together properly. Okay. So instead of growing in a circular or oval shape, which would give a nice, long, smooth hair, the um, uncombable hair syndrome hair tends to be either heart-shaped or triangular-shaped or even irregular-shaped, and it doesn't have to remain the same shape throughout the length of the hair. It will change and twist. Okay. So, so the texture can be different from roots right through to the end. Absolutely. How rare is it? It is quite rare. It is maybe one in a thousand, one in five thousand. Very, very rare. 